All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. After yesterday's semi crash, Bitcoin is up around $1,500. I think it went up about $2,000 since this bottom low at $65,000. Taking a look at it right now, $66,900. All right, coming off of a nice hammer candle pattern, which literally came down right into the 21 exponential moving averages. Buyers stepped in. We got these stacked moving averages. And we're sitting right on top of that level. You know, this thing is coming to a head. There's not much longer before this bad boy is about to pop. You have the election coming up literally in a couple weeks. And we know from the past that after these elections, if things go our way, that's when these bad boys explode. So you've got tops about two months and that is pushing. I think we're going to pop before that again, depending on the results of the election. But Bitcoin, after yesterday's nasty dump, looking pretty good of 4.7%. Ethereum, right now, 2,524. Yesterday, again, it had that same nasty dump, 2,445. It's rebounded about 100 points off of that bottom Right now, it's pretty flat, but we do have a tiny little candle, so I we'll have to see what happens. Taking a look at the stock market really quickly, S&P 500 is up 24 points this morning in the pre-market, all right? And so this right here is an indication. We look at the S&P 500. I trade the S&P 500. I actually day trade the S&P 500 every single day on this channel. I'm going to do that in a couple hours. From now, same picture. We had that nasty sell-off yesterday. Buyer stepped in the end, pushed it above our level. Then we got us a nice little green candle going on right now. It's called, if you zoom in, this is both an inside bar and a harami. Okay, and it's a bullish harami since it's coming at the bottom of the trend. So I'm expecting some nice things today. We'll see, but it's up 24 right now. I like to look at the NASDAQ of 149 this morning. Russell 2000, we take a look at that. Very important. This is our small caps. I pay attention in all the bull runs in the past. Bitcoin and all the cryptos have not broke to an all time high and participated in a big run without the Russell 2000 participating. So I'm watching this high right here on September 19 to see if we can pop through it. Uh, we've got to pop through it. If we don't, it's going to be very hard for Bitcoin to pound through these levels. But again, depending on the election, there may not be much time left. Take a look at XRP right now sitting at 52 cents. Again, running in tandem with Bitcoin. Down yesterday. Stock market was down yesterday. Gold was down yesterday. Crypto market was down yesterday. The only thing that was up was Solana. Right on my board, and we're going to take a look at Solana. And of course, the dollar, the US dollar has been, been screaming. But XRP is at 52 cents up this morning, had that nasty sell off. We could, you know, we're just chopping around between us 50 cents, 55 cents. But all in all, small little rebound today, just like Bitcoin is. Speaking of Solana, Solana screaming to the upside again. Solana's up right now. 0.46%. Uh, it's above the eight exponential moving average. So Solana has been super strong as of late. We saw yesterday, if we go look at Solana against Ethereum, Solana just took off against Ethereum, right? Shut up like a rocket ship. So if you, you know, had uh, Ethereum, Ethereum was losing strength against Solana, but this is good. If you like Ethereum and you have Solana, right now we're consolidated into a squeeze. So you can see here this nice, beautiful pattern. If we fire to the downside, that means Ethereum will gain strength against Solana. So if you have Solana, that would be a good time to sell Solana and buy Ethereum cheap ahead of its next big move up. But we'll have to see how this squeeze fires. Now, I'm always watching this Ethereum Bitcoin pair, stack moving average to the downside. We are in a squeeze, but as of right now, Ethereum is cheap against Bitcoin. So if you like Ethereum and you got Bitcoin, right now, Ethereum is cheap. But I want to see how this develops, right? It's like a hurricane. 
You know, you want to see it, how it develops. That's these squeezes. And then when these squeezes fire, when they go green, like for example, squeeze, 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 fire, that's what sets up these big runs. So I like when it goes into this consolidation mode. When it pops out, that's going to give me a guideline on what to do. XRP against Bitcoin. Okay, super, uh, you know, not much volume. You see all these gaps this morning. But anyway, chopping around. Now, this is a 30-minute chart. We're not in a squeeze. And so it's just building up, up a little bit. No big deal. If we take a look at uh, silver, I look at silver all the time, silver and gold. Up this morning, above this 8 exponential move on average, doing well. So there's some green on the board today, right, as opposed to yesterday. Yesterday, Bitcoin and the market and crypto, everything just took an absolute beating. But time is running out. The selections in two weeks. If it goes our way, you got two months tops before this bad boy explodes. Okay, but watch this Russell 2000 right here. This is going to be a huge indication. What's going to happen in the crypto market? The S&P 500 already broke to all-time highs. The NASDAQ is sitting right underneath its most recent high and then the high back here in July. So we got to get NASDAQ to pop. But the Dow Jones broke to a new high, sold off, but the Dow Jones and the S&P are strong. We need the Russell and we need that NASDAQ to participate. And if that happens, I'm expecting Bitcoin to rocket ship this hammer, right, right here, you could call it a bullish pin bar or a hammer as long as we hold that 65 low, which again, yesterday we had a massive dump, we're good to go. So let's see how this bad boy plays out. If y'all like to day trade the S&P 500, I'm going to day trade in a couple hours on this channel. Also, I'll do swing trading later, and then we'll wrap up at the end of the day to see how these markets did. Now, if you're interested in learning how to trade this crypto market or any of the indicators or softwares that I use to buy and sell, track the big money, like that TTM Squeeze Pro, that volatility indicator that lets us know when these coins are setting up for a big move, Radium Fire Pro, and that Trader's Edge X software, more for short-term investing, long-term investing, make sure you check down below in the description. And if you like the coin Cardano, click right here.